Everyone is going to see all these wonderful kids and their great ideas to change the world. We've never been on a red carpet before and this is so cool! My name is Amira Russell. My name is Alma Russell. And my name is Diap Russell. And we are the Respect Squad. Whether in school, your personal life, or in your future career, you will be working in projects with the team. Teamwork on a project requires tools to help you work together. You can use collaboration tools like Google Docs or a group chat. You can also use communication tools like Skype and FaceTime. Presentation tools depend on your project. You can do a slideshow, a YouTube video, or anything else that helps you share your ideas with others. Team projects require planning, time management, and thoughtful use of resources. The project management process includes the following five steps. You can look at the world around you for inspiration. Our inspiration to start Put Some Respect in My Plate just was started by realizing that we live in Detroit, which is a food desert. A food desert is a urban city that doesn't have affordable nor healthy foods. My family and I would have to drive 10 miles away from our, our home, and it was a 40 minute round trip just to buy healthy food. Second, plan your project. Start to map out what you want to do from start to finish. Here's a summary on how we designed our project. We listened to others and observed. We took time to understand the problem and sympathize with others who were impacted. Based on those insights, we created our idea. Third, take action and implement your plan. So what is Put Some Respect My Plate? Put Some Respect My Plate is more than just a couple of workshops. It's a movement online and inside of the classroom that teaches the youth how to eat right. We're active online on our social media and on Instagram you can find us at the handle Respect My Plate. We also do things like instant recess where kids can get up and learn how to do fun exercises. And we have food, food demos that teaches kids how to make healthy and affordable snacks that they can enjoy after school. Fourth, monitor your results as you implement your plan. Reflect on what works and what you can improve. Throughout our journey with Put Some Respect on My Plate, we've had the opportunity to experience some amazing triumphs and some challenges. I remember one of our hardest struggles was just getting started. My dad and I, we went downtown to a co-working space in Detroit. It had everything that we could have ever wanted. It was free. It had a full kitchen for our cooking demos. It had a it had a speaker for instant recess and a projector for our nutrition lessons. I went up to the event coordinator and I presented my business plan. I had all the confidence in the world. And then he looked at me and laughed right in my face. He told me that my idea was too grand. And that very instant, I knew that I had to continue to protect and fight for my dream. Fifth, after you've completed your project, hopefully you've reached your goals. If you have not reached your goals, Reflect further and continue to refine your project. Yeah, Alma Mary would like to present you with your first place prize, so congratulations. Now tell me, after hearing all of that, do you guys want to put some respect in your plate? Oh, yeah. Okay, all three, let's see.
say it. One, two, three. Put some respect on my plate.